In this video, I am gonna show you how you can create trees in Blender in just a matter of minutes. This video is made for beginners, so you should be able to follow this one. However, you can also check out the video link in description for a better understanding of the basics. So let's begin. First select the default cube. Then press Tab key to enter edit mode. Now make sure every part of the cube is selected. If not, press A on your keyboard. Now press M, and then select any of the first three options. After doing this, you will be left with just a single vertex. You may not see it properly, but it's there. Switch to front view by pressing 1 on the numpad. Now make sure vertex selection is active, if not, click on it. And also the vertex has been selected. Just press A, if you are not sure it is. Now hold down control, and click the right mouse button, where you want the extrusion to happen. You can use the undo shortcut, control, plus C, if you made a mistake. Now let's create some branches. So select any middle vertex. And use control and right click, to extrude again. Since it's only 2D now, let's make it 3D. You can also move, or rotate some of the vertices. Now this is looking a bit like tree, but we will need to add thickness to it. For that, we will have to add something called, skin modifier to it. But first, select all by pressing A on your keyboard. Then go to this wrench, like icon, and select add modifier. Now select skin modifier from the second column. Since it's too blocky now, we will need to add a subsurf modifier. But first, let's minimize the skin modifier here. Now click on add modifier, and choose the subsurf modifier. Also increase the viewport value from here. Now with every vert selected, or just press A again to make sure. Then hold down control key, and press A to make the tree fat or slim. Now press Alt plus Z for X-ray mode. By doing this, we can see both the skeleton as well as the skin. Now select all the tip of the branches. To select multiple vertices, you will have to hold down Shift key while selecting. Now press O on your keyboard to turn on proportional editing. Now press Ctrl plus A to scale them down. Use the mouse wheel to adjust the fall off. Then left click to confirm. Now switch to front view by pressing 1 on numpad. If you look at real trees, most of them has more thickness at the bottom. So select the bottom most vertex. Now press Ctrl plus A to scale it. And scroll the mouse wheel up or down to increase or decrease the influence. I think we are gonna need one more vertex down here. So press Ctrl plus R and then take your mouse cursor between the last two vertices and left click to confirm. Now press the G key twice and slide this vertex a little down. Now press Alt plus C again to disable X-ray mode. And also O to turn off proportional editing. Then press Tab to go back to object mode. Now if you take a look down in the status bar, you can see, we currently have 14,336 triangles in the scene. It's a high number, so let's make our tree a bit low poly. To make anything low poly, Blender has a modifier called Decimate. So let's go to Add Modifier, and choose Decimate Modifier. Now if we left click, and drag this ratio slider to a lower value, you can see the number of triangles decreasing drastically. Now I am aiming a value, where the shape of our tree does not get affected much. But if you want, you can go for even lesser value, for a more low poly look. I will stick with this value for now. So we have come down from 14,336 to 2,172. Now you can turn on triangulate, to triangulate the faces. And under skin modifier, you can also turn on smooth shading, for smoother look. Now you can click on the down arrows here, and select apply to apply the modifier one by one. But sometimes, 
you may have so many modifier stacks here. And applying them individually can be cumbersome. What you can do is press Ctrl plus A and select Visual Geometry to Mesh. And it will apply all your modifiers at once. Now with the tree selected, press F2 key on your keyboard and name it, then press Enter. And press G and then move it aside. Now let's create leaves for our tree. So press Shift plus A and add a plane. Press 7 on the numpad for top view, then tab to go to edit mode. Now press S, then Y to scale down in Y axis. Now hold Ctrl and press R. Then take the cursor to a vertical edge, so a horizontal loop appears. Now left click to make a cut, and then right click. Press S to scale the edge. Now make another loop cut, but this time, a vertical one. So press Ctrl plus R, and take the cursor to a horizontal edge. And once the preview edge appears, left click, and then right click. Now press Ctrl plus B, to bevel this selected edge. Left click, to confirm. Then select this edge, and press E to extrude, then Y to move it, in Y axis. Now select the top edge, and then press O to turn on proportional editing. Now G to move, and use the mouse wheel to adjust the influence. Press O again to turn it off. Press Tab to go back to object mode. And now, let's add color to the leaf. But first, switch to material preview mode. Now go to material properties, and click on new. Then choose a color from base color. Now press F2, and name this as Leaf. Then press G, and move it aside. Now press Shift plus A, and add an icosphere. Then in Material Properties, add a new one. Then click on Surface option, and choose Transparent. Now under Settings, choose Blend Mode as Alpha Blend. Now select Particle Properties, and then click on Plus Sign. Now set the frame start and end value to zero. Then under source, select emit from as volume. Then in physics, change the type to none. And under render, set render as object. Then under object, select instance object as the leaf. Now you can play with scale and its randomness. Also turn on rotation play with its different settings. In case you want to change the color of leaves later, just change the color of this single leaf, and all of them will be affected. Now just position the leaves with the tree branches. Duplicate using Shift plus D. First position them from top view. And then from front view. Lastly select both the tree and its leaves. Then shift select on the tree trunk twice, to make it the active one. Now press Ctrl plus B, and select object. By doing this, if we move the tree, the leaves move as well. And if we scale the tree, the leaves gets affected as well. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you were able to follow this tutorial. If you did, leave a like down below. Comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell, to get notified on my next video.